What if I told you Bangladesh Navy just got their hands on a drone so advanced it can hunt submarines, fire missiles, and patrol for 10 hours straight? Well, they did, and it's about to reshape maritime warfare in the Indian Ocean. Stick around as we break down the Camcopter S1, the game changer that just landed in Dhaka. Here's the situation. We're living in an era where naval power isn't just about battleships anymore. It's about eyes in the sky. And last year, Bangladesh military officially introduced the Camcopter S1, an Austrian-engineered helicopter drone that's frankly mind-blowing. Let me paint you a picture. This isn't your typical surveillance drone. This machine is specifically built for the maritime environment. We're talking about extreme salt water, harsh weather, unpredictable ocean conditions, and it handles all of it. Now, what makes this really interesting? The drone can launch and land vertically from any naval vessel's deck. That means any ship in the Bangladesh fleet becomes an instant drone carrier. No runways needed, no complicated logistics, it just takes off. Here's where it gets serious. The Camcopter S1 has an operational range of 200 kilometers. That's huge. It can reach heights of 18,000 feet and stay in the air for 6 to 10 hours depending on fuel configuration. While it's up there, it's collecting intelligence through multiple sensor systems, electro-optical cameras, infrared sensors, synthetic aperture radar, and LIDAR scanners. But, and this is the critical part, this drone isn't just watching. It carries firepower. Two Myrtle-class missiles, each with an 8-kilometer range. This fundamentally changes Bangladesh's coastal defense posture, its offensive capability wrapped in a reconnaissance package. Military analysts say this drone also has limited anti-submarine capabilities. Think about that for a second. In a region where underwater threats are constant, this adds a completely new dimension to coastal protection. The automation is equally impressive. The drone can execute full autonomous missions, take off, follow pre-programmed GPS waypoints, conduct surveillance, and land, all without pilot intervention. But if a situation demands, operators can take manual control from ground control stations. That's flexibility at its finest. So what does this actually mean? Let's talk real impact. First, maritime security. Bangladesh faces constant challenges in the Bay of Bengal. Piracy, smuggling, illegal fishing, and yes, submarine threats from neighboring nations. The Camcopter S1 extends the Navy's eyes far beyond what traditional surface vessels can achieve. Suddenly, a massive ocean becomes manageable, monitored, controlled. Second, deterrence. When you have an armed drone that can stay airborne for 10 hours with precision strike capability, adversaries take notice. It's not just about having weapons. It's about demonstrating you can see them coming, track them, and respond. That alone changes behavior. Third, operational capacity. Right now, one drone in service might not sound like much, but think strategically. Each naval vessel becomes a mobile drone platform. Multiple drones mean multiple coverage zones. Cover the entire maritime boundary? That becomes feasible. Here's what military strategists are saying. This isn't random procurement. This is structural transformation. The Camcopter S1 represents Bangladesh's commitment to 21st century maritime doctrine. Drone warfare is the future. Autonomous systems, long-range surveillance, precision strike, these are the fundamentals of modern naval strategy. And for regional balance, India, which dominates Indian Ocean naval operations, is watching closely. A well-equipped Bangladesh Navy means the regional equation changes slightly. Not dramatically, but meaningfully. The timing matters too. As global tensions rise and maritime choke points become contested, nations are building capabilities now. Bangladesh is positioning itself not as a passive observer, but as an active player. The Camcopter S1 is the visible symbol of that transformation. But here's the bigger picture. This is about sovereignty. Control of your own territorial waters. The freedom to project security across 200 kilometers of ocean without depending on foreign naval assets. That's strategic independence. Military experts agree the integration of these drones fundamentally upgrades coastal defense architecture. Anti-piracy becomes automated, submarine detection becomes proactive, coastal protection becomes persistent. The bottom line? Bangladesh Navy just leveled up. And in maritime security, when you level up, everyone notices. So, what do you think? 
Is the Camcopter S1 the future of naval warfare? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more defense analysis. Thanks for watching Defense Upcast.